super late on a Thursday. I, man, whew. It's been crazy. The last few days, uh, weeks of my life, I should say, uh, have just been crammed, packed, full of opportunity for me to experience things, to grow, to learn, to mature, to uh, do things I never ever thought I could do, and I am super thankful for it. As things progress in my life, and the more that I expose myself to things around me, and the more that I involve myself with other activities around me, uh, and the more that I open myself up for risk with other people and opportunity with other people, the more I realize that that life is just too darn short to bog yourself down with a bunch of other people's concerns, issues, problems, worries, uh, you know what? Life is for living, and I'm tired of of uh, these these situations where uh, just because things going around in other people's lives are bogging them down, that somehow that has to mean that you're bogged down. Uh, the reality is, you don't have to be. I've said it once. I've said it before. I'll say it a million times more. Life is for the living, so go live. All right, well, right now, uh, I am running home. I've got men's group tonight. Always a busy day on Thursday because I go to that. And then uh, this weekend is my first shoot for a podcast project that I picked up, and this is a regular gig, so I am pumped, pumped about that, super excited, uh, but there are a lot of things that I need to do pr to prep for that. I also have a uh, finalized video that I need to get for the church that I am with, and then obviously this vlog, you know, this is important to me, talking to you guys. So um, yeah, it's busy. All right, I'm going to run in here to FedEx and get something out in the mail. It's important. So I'll be back well, as fast as I can slap my hand at this camera lens. And just like that, I'm back. You see, it's like, it's like gone back, gone back. It's super crazy how this YouTube thing works. I'm telling you, it's like you hit these buttons and time just passes and things are amazing. They were bad and now they're amazing. They were amazing and now they're bad. It's kind of, it's a little creepy actually. Question, serious, serious question from me to you. Uh, regardless of the type of personality you are, um, I wanna know how difficult you find it to be to switch sort of your natural personality tendencies. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're the kind of person who naturally is just sort of you know, self-absorbed, sorry. <laughs> you know, you're just really all about what happens to you and what happens around you, and uh, you don't really uh, focus in too much on other people around you. Uh, how difficult do you find it to, to make that switch in your brain to then focus outside of uh, your world and outside of the things you're doing? Uh, do you find it difficult to do that, or, or is it easy for you? Or if you're the kind of person who's always focused on other people, like always, 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 you're looking out into the world and going, they could use my help, they could use my help, they could use my help, and you're just always doing things for other people, um, do you find it difficult to turn your attention inward for a period of time to do things that you need to do for you, uh, or do you not? So really, the question is, do you find it difficult to be sort of the opposite of, of how you naturally are? Do you, do you find it difficult to get yourself in that frame of mind? Um, yeah, I, I really wanna know uh, if you find yourself having that problem. Maybe comment below or uh, if I can remember, because I always forget to put the poll up here, but maybe I'll put a poll up here, just yes, it's difficult, no, I got it down. Uh, if you've got it down and you know how to get yourself out of your current frame of mind, I would love to hear what you do to do that. You know, what's your trick to get yourself out of the rut of, of how you deal with sort of situations in your life? So uh, trying to learn here, I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to, to learn from you, uh, the, you know, the wonderful people who watch this video. So uh, thank you guys for everything you do and for what you're about to teach me with the comments below. So comment, let me know. How do you handle switching, switching your brain? Okay, I'm gonna drive home now. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Welcome back to the studio. I'm gonna wrap up the vlog right here. Today, I think I want to uh, mull over an idea with you. You know, kicking off a new series or segment that's called Frank Talk with Steve. Uh, you know, not me and Frank, but me being Frank. And, and, and here's the reality. The reality is I feel like as a general rule, people tend to look at other people and say, wow, look at all that stuff you got, instead of saying, 
wow, look at all these things I can do, or saying, wow, look at all the stuff I got. Uh, they look into other people's lives and go, wow, they have all that? They can give me some of that. Um, you know, I, I, I kind of want to reframe something for everybody. You know, if you're watching this right now, let me, let me try to reframe something. When you walk into somebody else's life and you look into their world and you go, man, <laughs> you have a lot. Um, maybe you need to reframe that because the, the last time somebody said that to me, you know, look at all this stuff you have. No, no, no. Let me correct you, bub. Look at all the stuff I've earned. Stuff I've earned. Uh, this is stuff that I've worked difficult hours for. This is stuff that I've sacrificed for. This is lots of years of not doing what I want in order to get where I'm at. So uh, I just wish people would stop looking into everybody else's lives and going, look at all the stuff you have. You know, I, I was guilty of that for a period of my life and recently have said, mm -mm, I'm done with all that. I'm not doing that anymore to myself. Now I look into people's lives and go, well, look, look, at, look at where they've gotten themselves to. I'm happy for people to get places. I'm happy for people to be successful. I'm happy for people to achieve what they've achieved. And I'm not apologetic for what I've achieved. So um, Frank Talk with Steve. Today is just earn for yourself. Work hard. Suffer the long hours. Go through the times that you don't want to go through. Um, you know, if you're hanging on to everything, get rid of it. If you're overspending beyond your means, stop it. If you're uh, sitting around wondering how to get that thing that somebody else has, relax, bro. Just live with what you got. I can't tell you the number of years that um, we ate dinner on a little card table because we didn't have a dinner table. Matter of fact, when we moved into our first house, we didn't have a table, kitchen table. We didn't have a couch. We didn't have a love seat. We had, an, we had a coffee table. We had a chair and we had a, I think we even had a bean bag. I don't even remember. And then, you know, we progressed from there. And it takes time. It takes time. Time. Like my wife and I have been together for 26 years. We've been living on our own for, mm, I mean, raising our family for 20, 21 years, 22, 23 years, 23, 24, 23 years. I, very long time. Very long time we've been doing it. And so it's taken 20 plus years of, of failure and success and then failure and then success and then failure and then success. So that's all I got for you today. Just do me a favor and stop looking at other people's stuff. Stop taking for granted what's around you and earn for yourself. Be accountable for yourself. Uh, okay, I, I think that's it. My rant is over. I hope you uh, enjoyed the Frank Talk. And uh, if you didn't, give me a thumbs down. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And, uh, you know, if, if you gave me a thumbs down and you want to comment, go easy. If you gave me a thumbs up and you want to give me a comment, go easy. <laughs> I don't know. Just that's all I got. Okay, I'm going to get to editing this church video and getting ready to go. So peace.